Yes, another local protest about the Israel-Hamas war. Last week it was hard for tonight, New Haven, where some residents protested outside the Board of Alders meeting, demanding they add a ceasefire resolution to their agenda. At least 15 police officers had to be there to keep the peace. News 8's Brittany Schaefer reports now from the scene. Calls for a ceasefire resolution discussion echoed off the brick of New Haven City Hall's exterior. It makes me incredibly angry that calling out a genocide or asking just for the stop of violence would be something that's so politicized that our alders can't speak on it. Meanwhile, inside the Board of Alders meeting, the discussion of city matters continued. The Board of Alders certified that no amendment to the Yale University. The things that I'm really interested in is affordable housing, youth opportunities and jobs. While holding signs and chanting, dozens of protesters say violence overseas is a local issue. The engines from Pratt & Whitney, the guns from Colt, the helicopters from Sikorsky. Activists, including Leah Shrestinian, say they submitted a ceasefire resolution to the Board of Alders back in December. And now three months later, there has not been a public meeting. We're not being complicit in genocide. And our alders are our voice. We aren't really being heard on the state and federal levels, but we believe in the power of local government to make a change. I'm sorry they feel that way. The Board of Orders has a process that we're following, and that's what we're doing. Board President Taisha Walker Myers says the resolution was recently assigned to a committee and should have a meeting soon. Tonight, over a dozen police officers surrounded the New Haven Green to ensure a productive meeting. Protesters tell me they will continue to speak up until their voices are heard and action is taken. It's all about promoting peace and promoting justice and ending violence and nothing about being against Jewish people. New Haven Police Chief Carl Jacobson was here monitoring the situation. He tells me this Board of Alders meeting did not have a public comment period. Therefore, if protesters went inside and interrupted, they would have received a warning and then could have been arrested. In New Haven, I'm Brittany Schaefer, News 8.